What's up guys, it's Obo, and I'm back with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. This is going to be my BBR D-League Week 3 Team Builder versus our good buddy King Sosa and his Los Angeles Infernapes. Uh, King Sosa has a fucking terrifying team of Iron Valiant, Skeledurge, Iron Treads, Woshian, Rotom Wash, Mudsdale, Screamtail, Tatsugiri, Morgrum, Orthworm, and Swalot. Now, um, the main threat, obviously, is that Iron Valiant. Uh, Sosa had the first pick in the uh, Violet division for the draft, and he did take the Iron Valiant, which this Iron Valiant is going to be uh, Terra Ghost and Terra Steel, or, excuse me, Terra Fairy and Terra Steel, and um, just makes it impossible for my team to switch into it. Now, um, we do have some things for it, but it's, you, it's kind of more on the offensive end, just hoping we can outspeed it or deal with it. But um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. We are going to be a Heavy Duty Boot Shim Pal. Let's go ahead and look at the moves here. We are Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, Ice Spinner, and Crunch. Now, we are 252 Adamant with 236 speed and 16 EVs in the HP. And we have four in defense, um, just because we had a... We get to run Adamant this week because nothing can outspeed it. Um, just like going off base speed unless they have a Scarfer or they are the Booster Energy Iron Valiant, which I do believe they will be. Um, but that's besides the case. This Pokemon is here. I decided to go with Sucker Punch over Shard because um, I am like 99% certain that Sosa is going to be running Terra Steel Valiant. Because if not, um, my Klefki can wall it infinitely. But, um, but yeah, still Iron Valiant, a fucking problem. But the only way I can deal with it with this, um, I am going to be Terra Dark. Obviously, you can see it on the screen below. Um, but our boy Diego is here just to put in work and absolutely chip my team down. Uh, Terra Dark Crunch does what Adamant does over half to Rotom Wash. Um, just absolutely obliterates all of his Pokemon. Um, and then, like, obviously, he goes into Woshian. I have Ice Spinner for that. Um, Terra Dark Crunch does even a lot to something like an Orthworm. Um, or a Mudsdale, but then obviously a lot of these Pokemon don't want to switch into this thing. He really has no switch into this Iron Valiant, or excuse me, into this um, Chimpow, to be completely honest. Next, we have Gary the Garchomp holding the Roselli Berry for that Iron Valiant because I am so terrified of that Pokemon. Um, we have Earthquake, Fire Fang, Swords Dance, and Dragon Claw. Now, on this set, I am going to have to be 252 Adamant and 252 speed with I just put four EVs and Spadef. Um, but we are just going 252, 252. And that is because if we are not, then we cannot outspeed. Um, I think it is, I'm running Adamant, uh, but without Adamant, or without Jolly, excuse me, sorry. I can't outspeed. I think it's a, a, a Tatsuguri. Tatsuguri is what I'd EV the speed for because there's no way that this Rotom Wash is a max speed Rotom Wash. Um, with a timid nature or something. But Adamant makes it to where we can two shot an Orthworm with Fire Fang always um, at plus two. Orthworm is actually very scary for my team. <laughs> but we this Pokemon with SD can put in the absolute utmost work. Uh, a Screamtail could be kind of scary here, but a plus two Earthquake um, is going to be doing or be able to two shot it unless they do have screens up. Of course, they do so decide to set up screens or bring the Morgrim. Um, and even with an unaware Skeledurge, if they are fully HP invested and fully defense or like just fully HP, then there's a chance we don't even Oko because obviously it's unaware. Um, but there's a chance we can Oko if they are not, have, or if they don't have any HP investment or they decide to bring something like a Scarf or something like that. Kind of more offensive set. This Pokemon is here to just absolutely wreck my opponent's team. We obviously need Dragon Claw so we can hit the Rotom Wash. Um, a Mudsdale could potentially wall this, uh, but I would just SD on this thing infinitely. I mean, if they have Roar, uh, good on them. Excuse me. But other than that, I mean, Garchomp is here just to put in the work and try to break my opponent's team. Next, we have the boy Timothy the Quaquabble with lefties. This is going to be um, one of, it's kind of like my backup win con. My win con is the Garchomp set. <laughs> so hopefully that shit fucking works. But this is going to be kind of kind of be my backup win con set 
with the Aqua Step Close Combat Bulk Up Sub. Um, this set, actually, with the Eevees, is going to be 252 on attack, but then 236 Jolly with some Fortis Bidef, and then 16 HP. Now, I do have to run uh, the 236 Jolly to be able to outspeed, um, I believe it is the Tatsugiri, uh, or it's, it's, it's something along those lines. Uh, but we do need the 252 attack to be able to two-shot certain things. Um, but we are sub because I am like 99% certain his Rotom Watch is going to click a Will-O-Wisp. I mean, even if they don't, they click Volt Switch and it breaks my sub, whatever. Always going to sub to scout the Volt Switch or Willow. Um, it's here for if uh, Scout Urge wants to stay in on me and even click Willow. I Or just if I get the Squaquavel in on even an... A Skeledurge, a Rotomwash, or not really a Rotomwash, but a Skeledurge, a Woshian, um, a Mudsdale, even an Iron Treads, really, I can click sub, or even an Orthworm, or I can bulk up. Just because I know I'm weak to a grass type move on the Woshian, but like I could call a Leech Seed, calling them to call my Switch. A lot of a lot of me saying call there. But um, either way, I think this set can absolutely put in the work as well. Uh, this is here to just get a bulk up up and just break through my opponent's team as well. And it can win the game if I get an Aqua Step off. Um, just depends on the Iron Valiant set and when the boost energy comes out. If they are boost energy. Their Scarf, obviously, it just beats it from there. Like, uh, Scarf Valiant can kind of put in work. But I um, believe my opponent will be um, the uh, boost, or be, um, boost energy. But... But yeah, Coquavel, my boy Timothy, is here to break through my opponent's team and just try to help me win the game. Next we have, which has became one of my favorite Pokemon for some fucking reason, uh, Theodore the Toad Scroll with the Yachi Berry. We are Yachi Berry for an Ice Punch, uh, Iron Valiant, and an Ice Spinner, Iron Treads. Uh, super fucking scared for the... Um, Iron Valiant, like, obviously, I'm trying to bring as much shit as I can for that Pokemon. But, we are Rapid Spin, Earth Power, Energy Ball, and Sludge Bomb. This set has 92 HP, we have 4 Defense, 252 Special Attack, 4 Spadef, and 156 Timid Speed. This makes it to where I can outspeed the uh, Tatsuguri as well. Um, and obviously, this, like I said, this Rotom Wash isn't going to be fucking uh, a, timid, a Timid Nature 2v2, like, you know what I mean? So, this uh, Toad Scroll set is actually pretty interesting. A uh, bit offensive. Uh, very offensive, actually. Um, I get a Rapid Spin off, and then I can outspeed a lot of Pokemon. And I can just go cut through my opponent's team. Sludge Bomb to hit the Woshian. Energy Ball to hit the um, Rotom Wash. Energy Ball to hit the Mudsdale. Earth Power to hit the Iron, uh, the Iron Treads. The Skeledurge. Um, this Pokemon, though, gets absolutely walled by earthworm always earthworm just comes in on this thing always should have probably brought some form of like spikes just so i get some type of hazards up on the switch into earthworm but that is okay um my boy theodore uh the homie is going to be putting in work so i love this pokemon it doesn't matter this pokemon could die turn one i still love this pokemon and i don't know why next we had the choice scarf gingar uh we have cory i'm always gonna name every gingar cory and every volcarona variant like volcarona slither wing and um what is it uh iron moth cory um because of my good buddy cory um haven't seen cory forever whatever that's that's besides the point but this gengar is here to outspeed an iron valiant um unless it is boost energy obviously but it outspeeds everything else it's mainly for the iron treads um and like a choice scarf skeleturge to be completely honest but yeah let's go ahead and get to the set I am obviously Choice Scarf, like I said, but I am Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Energy Ball, and Focus Blast. We are 28 HP with 252 Special Attack and then 228 Timid Nature. This makes it to where we outspeed everything, like I said. Um, this thing is here, like I said, to just be a, a fast, late-game sweeper. To be able to lock into a move and be able to win the game. Because if I can get Iron Treads down low enough, I can just lock into Shadow Ball. And if the Iron Valiant is boost for energy, then that means it's obviously going to switch out at some point. Uh, probably, hopefully, I can get it to switch out, and then it's gonna leave or lose that speed boost. And a Shadow Sneak at plus two has a chance to KO us, but I do think they're gonna be SD. But I don't think they're going to be Shadow Sneak. I think I don't think they fit enough uh, moves on there. I think they have to be Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and then Stab of some sort. 
but um, yeah, no crazy set on this Gengar. It's honestly just here to be a late game uh, cleanup mon. Lastly, we have DJ Khaled, the uh, Clef Key with Light Clay. This is here to be a soft <laughs> Iron Valiant check. Um, there, so if this Iron Valiant was um, not Terra Steel, this would be so easy for me. Even if it was Terra Ghost, it'd be so easy for me to bring a certain set. I could just bring even D Gleam. But if it was Terra, uh, even Terra Fairy, I could just D Gleam, T Wave, Light Screen Reflect. But since it is Terra Steel, and I am like 99% certain that he's gonna bring the fucking Terra Steel Iron Valiant, I am Light Screen Reflect, uh, T Wave, and the Foul Play. Now, Foul Play is here because, like I said, I am so certain that Sosa is gonna bring SD. Like, I, I really think an SD set can just go through my fucking team, my entire team, um, with boost energy. If it comes in, it clicks SD, and then it can just win. Because if he's Terra Steel, uh, a Terra Dark Sucker Punch doesn't no go. So, from my team bow. But, we are Light Skin Reflect to be able to deal with either either set that it is. Um, we are 244 HP. We are 204 Impish Nature. Um, so, it's plus defense minus special attack with 60 Spadef. Um, the Foul Play, if he's at plus 2, can do over 80%, I believe. Um, but it always breaks his sub, regardless if he is a sub Iron Valiant set. So that was the main thing with foul play. If he is, if he is physical, if he's special, then we can wall this pretty easily. Regardless, um, we just click light screen and then we just T wave him, um, or we switch out eventually. But like, we can just we can wall this. If he is special, foul play won't pick, won't be able to two shot him or break us up. But um, there's not much he can do to me if he is special. But honestly, that's it. That's really it with this team. Um, it's honestly just kind of Wing Kong Garchomp or um Coquavo and then having Chin Pao just be able to clean up in the end um or a Gengar be able to clean up in the end but let me know if you enjoy this type of video if you enjoy the team builder um I'll make sure to link um my opponent in the description down below I'll have all the all the BBR coaches um please leave a sub as well if you did enjoy um I am on the road to 300 subs so trying to um just get that and keep pushing out Pokemon content whether it's draft league whether it's VGC and uh, open to do other content as well. But um, that's going to be it for me, guys, and I'll see you guys later.